Welcome to the Masquerade, the party of all parties organized by my dear friend Windsweep in honor of killing me. And I love parties, so when I heard he was holding one I wasn't invited to, I knew I couldn't miss it. Me and my million little friends. <laughs> now I hear you say, Brett, you're a horrible person. Why would you crash a friend's party with the equivalent of the Black Plague? Well, I like This guy's the farthest thing I have from a friend right now. See, I may or may not have, three months back, trapped all of my friends on my Minecraft SMP inside a red airship, and I may or may not have been instantly hunted down and killed for it. Now, normally, this would be fair game, but after delivering the final blow, Windsweep took everything from me. And when I say everything, I mean everything. The guy looted my corpse to cover my base and all that was inside, forcing me to go into exile and start from scratch. And since then, I've been thinking non-stop of a good way to get back at him and hit where it hurts the most, and that party is exactly what I've been waiting for. Even made a custom Minecraft mod just for the occasion! How nice! Alright, so I looked at the mod and it seems to have pretty standard stuff for organizing a party, like building blocks and decoration blocks, which is, I'm assuming, for the ballroom, uh, masks, food, lethal weapons... I understand why this disc could be used for playing catch, it looks pretty fun, but... There's a longsword here! Why do you need a longsword for a party, Blake? Something is definitely up, and if Blake is making a mod after his branding, you know I got a style on him and crash his party with mine. Rats. The only problem is that this celebration is taking place in five days, and even then, before I can work on a mod, I need to get some rats back. But I can't just get any rats. I want to get the original ones I lost the day I got defeated. But how am I gonna do that? Well, luckily, Windsweep isn't the one who took them when he killed me, but another player named Amy. Which is the person who coded the Masquerade mod for Windsweep, so actually it's just as bad. But having nothing to lose, I contacted her and asked to meet at the crashed airship. There she is, the beautiful freebird fallen from the sky. Damn, what a crash site. Hello. <laughs> you scared me, I didn't expect you to actually be here before me. I've never been here since the expedition. There's been a bit of change, it seems. You know, being exploded kind of does that to you, I think. I mean, my room is pristine. But anyway, rumor is, you have my rats. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> oh, you do have them. Well, I suppose you can take a look at one of them to begin with. Alright, what would you take? I'd like to know what you have planned for the masquerade. But how do I know I can trust you? Well... I do have your rats. Fine. I'm basically planning to crash it with a million rats. Give or take a few. I'm gonna count on you to not tell anyone. Well, maybe I could help with your party crashing idea. I think we have a deal then. Alright, pleasure doing business with you. Now another thing we need before we can proceed is a way to transport a lot of rats. But then, just like you saw, the server already has rat pouches. They allow you to transport rats into your inventory, and the best ones you can get need to be made out of chorus. And that's our second problem. There's no end on this server. Wait, so no chorus? Well, not exactly. There is one place you can get some. A single chorus tree at spawn that is always heavily guarded. Time for a heist. Okay, so there seems to be three people guarding the tree right now. Uh, that's Blake, uh, that's Diane Sue, and I think I saw Lux. So literally two out of these three people are the two people I need to avoid the most right now. That's great. I'm gonna see if I can lure them away. <sighs> okay, it's- it's- it's working? It's working, it's working, it's working. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now's my time. Gotta grab it fast, gotta grab it fast. What the f- How deep does it go? Alright, let me get this and uh, we run. Alright, and now the run part, very fast. I need a portal, I need a portal, I need a portal, I need a portal. Yes, I was. Okay, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. <laughs> oh, that is stressful. Okay, I think we're fine. 
Holy... That was actually so stressful. That was way too close. And with the chorus secured, we can finally get working on the mod. Uh, and I have four days left. Now, as you probably noticed, the server already has rats from a mod I made in the past. So what exactly am I making here? Well, see, I haven't updated the mod in a very long time. And the rats always were a little bit underwhelming. So we're turning them into actual monsters. So to start things off, I updated the rat model, the textures, the animations, as well as adding new sounds. All right, so I went ahead and started updating the mod and... Uh, <laughs> Why is it so glitched? Wait, wait, hold on. What's happening? What's- what's- oh no! Am I getting hacked? Oh, right. That's because this video is sponsored by Honkai Star Rail, a space fantasy RPG made by Hoyaverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. Honkai Star Rail is free to play and cross platform, being available on mobile, PC, and soon to be PlayStation, with cross progression between the three. The game is a galactic space odyssey with rich lore, captivating side stories, and a carefully crafted universe with a semi open world filled with treasure chests to discover, puzzles to solve, and many stories to uncover, allowing you to unravel the world's secrets at every turn. The game also features reimagined tactical combat, allowing you to build your team and personalize your strategy how you want by combining characters and upgrades to then go fight diverse enemies in just as diverse environments. Talking about characters, Honkai Star Rail features over 20 expressive playable characters with four different voiceover options. Personally, I like March 7th the most, and no, that's not a date that she just has a funny name. On that subject, the game also just received two new limited five-star characters. Silver Wolf is a genius but rebellious hacker, member of the mysterious organization, the Stellaron Hunters, and a hardcore gamer. She's so good at hacking, she can affect the real world and uses these abilities in combat to weaken her enemies as a powerful support. On the other end, Luocha is a constantly calm and collected healer, and despite being primarily good at healing efficiently, his ultimate is just as useful, causing AoE damage and dispelling enemy buffs. If you want to experience these two new characters as well as everything else the game has to offer, download the game using the link in the description and use the code to redeem 50 Stellar Jade for free. Anyway, thanks a lot to Honkai Style Rail for sponsoring this video, let's get back to coding our rats. The next thing to add was a feature I always wanted in the mod but never got around to implementing, picking up rats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> ah, there we go. That's slightly better. I still don't know why I have to. All right, that's that's uh, slightly better. Now I. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's so cute. He's just hanging onto my hand. <laughs> <laughs> like boxing gloves. Okay, so now that you picked up a rat, you should be able to place it down and it works. Okay. <laughs> now we have a slight problem. Uh, this is cool. We can have a rat in our inventory. Um, yeah. Okay, it works. Now, whatever you drop them, they actually spawn a rat instead of an item. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, that's just too many of them. The server won't even manage to handle this many rats. Now, while I'm having fun here, at this moment, I realized I couldn't bring too many rats without killing the server and everyone's frames. And another massive flaw with this whole plan is that even if I have a lot of rats, they don't have much health and can all be wiped out very easily with area damage. But don't worry, I've got that covered. See, we have two other mods on the server that are a perfect fix to this. First, respawnable pets, just like its name indicates, allows you to respawn your pets so whenever they die, you just need to sleep and then they'll just respawn there. Now placing and breaking a bed in combat is gonna be annoying, so for that, we have sleeping bags. They're very practical in the sense that whenever you place one down, you sleep immediately and whenever you get up, it drops and goes back to your inventory. So if I carry a clock around with me, I can just see when it's nighttime and if my rats are dead and I need to respawn them, I can just place a sleeping bag and get out, basically granting me infinite waves of rats. Now remember, we're very short on time, so I have to use it wisely and prioritize important features. So naturally, I spend the next few hours adding rat memes. <laughs> I think that's a bit too strong. <laughs> However, that last one, being able to throw rats, I actually had something planned for. Like this. This is so adorable. He just has a very, very large horse. Uh, <laughs> and of course, I made it so you could stack them on top of each other so you can have rat towers like this. <laughs> <laughs> now, the real, real use to throwing rats and putting them on enemies is that now they'll attack them. And another neat little thing I added is that now, if you miss or if the rat dismounts the entity, you can set it to come back to you. And even though I didn't plan it, that also now allows you to play with them. Now, this is very cute and very nice, but I can hear you ask Rat, where's the black plague you promised us? Well, here it is. See, now when you breed two rats with potion effects, you have a chance that the offspring will be able to transmit that potion effect. And on top of that, it works with any effect. So if you want to use this, you can use this on your enemies, on your allies, with any potion effect, and yeah, it'll work. But given we're going for the Black Plague, 
poison it is. Now we're making good progress, but it's only three days until the masquerade and I'm really running out of time. But against all odds and very luckily, Amy decided to join the project and help me with a few things. The first is this new Rat Master armor, which allows you to not only look incredible, but also allows you for every piece you have equipped to have stat bonuses for your rats like damage resistance, attack damage, or mining speed. And also she decided to go ahead and make it so you can disable the hood, uh, which is such a nice little detail. And the second one is the Rat Master Ocarina, which allows you to give orders to your rats like breaking blocks, harvesting crops, or breeding mobs, including rats, which is gonna be useful to get a lot of them. However, there is one slight issue with these new additions. The only way to get them is through a new material that you can find in the ancient city chest, which means that I will need to find a fresh new unexplored ancient city in order to get my hands on the materials I need for the masquerade, but that's all right. I like a little challenge. Talking about a challenge, I need your help with one. I'm trying to become the biggest Minecraft modding YouTuber, but my friend 8 Sided Square always had more subscribers than me. But recently, I'm the closest I've ever been to passing him, so if you want to help me with that, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Now, I want to become a rat. They can hear me out. Before I crash the party, I want to know what Windsweep has planned, but I can't just attend the masquerade as I'm not invited, and you may just be thinking, Rat, just put on a mask, it'll be anonymous and nobody will know that it's you. Well, yeah, but people are still gonna talk in-game and use the voice chat, so I can't just attend and stay silent. That would be too suspicious. Also, yeah, I did prepare a mask for the party, but have you seen it? I look straight from Dishonored! I'm gonna get caught so easily if I show up like that right away. So instead, I need to find another way to, um... Keep an eye on things. Is the pitch. Remote controlled spy rats. <gasps> oh my god, it works! That's the first step. That that kinda works. I'm a rat now. I have achieved my lifelong dream of becoming one with my brothers. I am the big rat that makes all of the rules. <gasps> it works! It works! <laughs> okay, I can still see my hand, but hi there. Good looking. Okay, now does it work if I return to my normal body? Uh, we're not there yet, but we're making progress. No, wait, no, don't attack me, it's me, it's me! Oh my god! Okay, it works now. <laughs> I can control the rat midair. <laughs> Now, being able to control a rat in order to spy is a great use case, but that's not the only scenario where I could use a more slippery rodent form. See, I'm not exactly sure how powerful Windsweep will be with his custom weapon, so I need to fail safe to escape in case things go bad. So I came up with a curse specifically designed for the Rat Master armor that would turn you into a rat as soon as you get lower than four hearts. Oh my god, it works. That's glorious. The icon doesn't work, but that's glorious. <laughs> and then at the end of the effect... <gasps> That's so cool! Okay, so now I should have access to my inventory. Okay, I do. And if I clear the effect... Oh, okay, yes, that's good, that's good. Hey, big man. <laughs> oh, this is amazing, look at this. I'm a ratty boy. Master of escape and then... Nothing personal, kid. And with the whole mod now complete, it's time to prepare. With only two hours left until the masquerade. Okay, first I need a goat horn for the ocarina. Oh, goat, 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 goat. Okay, now how do I get them to ram me? I love goats so much. They're such a cool mob. Mother... Yes! Okay, okay. Finally. Goated with a sauce. <laughs> Alright, that was the simple part. Now time to find an ancient city for literally everything else. Ooh, nice adventuring time. I want to find an ancient city though. Hold on. Okay. This is a mountain Maybe I'll have some luck here. Wait, is that a deep dark or an ancient city? Oh ancient city. Okay, finally checked so many caves and so many mountains. All right. Give me your treasures Yes, all right. All right. Yes, let's go <gasps> Oh Yes, oh Yes Alright, that should be enough. I've got four Curse of the Rat enchanting books. I don't know how many ingots, but definitely way more than I need. And I've awoken eight wardens that are currently getting angry, so I think it's time to go. <laughs> home sweet home. Hey, yo, Astrid, come here. I've got something to show you. Oh! Oh my god, that's so sick. And also, this is how I'm gonna keep an eye on you. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> that's so cool. 
Look at them, they're so cute. Oh my god, that's so many rats. That's already way too many. But we need to go further! Alright, I have a few plague rats from what I'm seeing right now. Oh my god, 141 entities set to respawn, and that's like a quarter of them. And as I was finishing packing my rats, everyone started going to the party, but there was still one thing I had left to do before I could attend myself. If you remember correctly, Windsweep took my gear and my base, and rumor is he turned it into a vault and stashed all my important items there. And since he is at the masquerade to greet his guests, he's not gonna be at the vault to protect my gear, so it was the best time for me to retrieve it. Well, the place surely has changed since I came here last time. What's up with all these mannequins? There are so many of them. All right, now where's that vault? Oh, there it is. There's a lever here. Cool redstone door. Okay, okay. Well, that's exactly what I needed, and that's what I really need. And so after recovering my old items and reading the few nice words Windsweep had left for me, I rushed back to the nether and headed to the coordinates of the Blackstone Bridge everyone took to go to the Masquerade. Okay, that's probably the Masquerade portal, and it's probably not smart to go through it because it's probably filled with a lot of people behind it, so I'm gonna set up another one a little bit further away. Okay, it was minus X, so that means west. Okay. Okay, I think we're here. Just gonna set up a little hidey hole from which I can control the rats. Alright, let's go. That building actually looks pretty cool. Now what it has in looks, it clearly lacks in accessibility. I can't find the entrance. Oh, never mind, it's here. It's literally in front of the portal. I don't have full damage, I could just drop. Ah, uh, let's go. Oh, I forgot about the falling rat slapping sound. That is not stealthy, I regret it in that. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so peaceful and such a lovely gathering today. <laughs> I feel like that's about to change really fast. Let's see what's behind those walls. Can I can I go behind there? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, I'm going to be able to go everywhere from there. I should be safe. Nobody should see me here, but I can still listen and observe. Okay, I'm lagging a bit. I'm going to relog though. Why am I not on the right floor? Uh oh, this is bad. This is oh god, this is bad. This is bad. There's a rat. There's a rat. What do you think this? Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Yeah, this place was a built through an abandoned mine shaft. Rats just spawned here. Oh. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, that's save. Oh my god. That's not even true, but Abe's got my back, I guess. Sylvia, come on. You're literally cheating, Sylvia. You're out. You lose. There is a hole in the ceiling. Don't be going to investigate. I don't know. Damn it! Can I not spy in peace, please? Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Alright. So, oh. this is this is where I tell you, um, this is where I tell you what's really happening today. Oh god, this isn't a free bird situation, is it? Is the feeling good for six, six months ago, it's some people bird. on the server banded together to kill a player off the face of the world. They're gone. They're dead. Rat wasn't alone. People love to blame Rat, say Rat is the cause of all their evils, but no, on that day, people helped Rat kill Arathane, and I'd say they're just as accountable as Rat, and uh, they didn't face judgment. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, they didn't know really <laughs> how bad Rat was back then. Now, I've been protecting this server for the last three months. I've been keeping it safe. There's been no wrongdoings. There's been no evil. So, you know, these people, I just want to say this to you for Chaos and Sue's. Uh, you deserve this. What? what? Huh? Huh? What is happening? What? Uh, What's happening? Ow. What? The hell? what? Um, I'm dying. Oh, they're taking damage. What? Oh, no, no, you're dying. Um, oh, they're poisoned. What? What the hell are we Wait, what? I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, what the hell? <laughs> you were you were meant to die, Talon. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Really, 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 no. Okay, I feel like this might be the moment to intervene. Um, and there's, there's one more, there's one more. No, Ashton! Okay, screw it, I'm, I'm going in there, I'm going in there. I need to hurry, I need to hurry. I seem to be intruding on something here. Yeah, I, I see them. Wait, what? what? Hi. Yeah, they didn't include this person. Hello, Blake. I've been watching you. You guys good? You guys, uh... You guys need a need a hand. Wait, rats? 
Isn't he supposed to be dead? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought as well. How are you even here? I warned you not to come. I like parties. This one seemed really like a blast. And so far, it seems like it turned out pretty incredible. I don't know how you organizing this makes you think that things are gonna be better. Things are gonna be different. You've kept talking about how I was horrible all this time, about how Rhett was the evil bad guy. My point being, I'm really- sorry, but you two are both horrible. Both of you just murder people mercilessly for the wildest of f***ing reasons. And now you're, you're just expecting me to just sit here and watch you talk for what? I don't remember Fundy dying in the airship. Can you shut the f*** up? I do you not see the problem with this? Have you ever looked in the no, mirror recently? No, I see recently? the problem, but I don't care. This server will be ruled in my palm. You said that we had peace for over four months, which is like somehow extremely impressive for our standards. And look who came back, just like I thought. What a fun leader. I am unbelievably different. Yeah, you're not good looking. You know what? I'm done taking the vaccine. Okay, we're not. Okay. Alright, oh, consider this a counterattack. Oh, Come here, Blake. Ah, oh my god, why is the rat killing me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god, that is an unbelievable amount of damage. Come here, Blake! <laughs> Come here, Blake! Oh, no, Ow, oh my god, that is a mistake. <laughs> get rid of Nox first. Alright, I'll get them. Come on, Lux, let's get Nox, you and I. Oh yeah, you and I. No, just for my emotion. Okay, I got Nox. Oh my god! Wait, Freak, you're attacking Astrid? Come here. Blake! Alright, that's done with. No Blake again. No Freak! Oh, damn it! This is the last thing I wanted to happen. Come on, Blake, hit me. I think I can kill him. Okay. Oh, I got an amazing idea. Oh, I've just had a great idea. I don't like the sound. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do damage! <laughs> yes, it's fucking go. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you go, you wanna go, you wanna go, you wanna go, you wanna go! <laughs> Enjoy the swarm! Oh Enjoy the swarm! I am not leaving until there is every single person's blood on my hand. Uh, wait, 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 Lux, 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 if we do it together, if we do it together, we can get him! Charge Brimstone, charge Brimstone! Oh, okay. Tell me when you can shoot. Okay, Alright, yeah, one, two, three. Oh, let's get him, let's get him! No, 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 no! Oh, Ah. What? Oh no! no, no, no. Oh god! Shoot me! Do it! I won't die! Ah! I'm gonna die! <laughs> How many totems do you have? You're a coward. I don't even have a single one. No, Lux! Just me. Just me! Just me! Oh, it's night time. I have something for night time. That's funny. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. No! No! Come on, Blake! Oh my god. Come here. I've done so much! Even if I lose right now, Rat, you're killing me exactly what I wanted. I will come back. And I don't care if I have to kill you, Lars! <sighs> <laughs> Good show. Thank you, Asai. Thank you. I have one last thing to do. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> and so after a productive day of vengeance and sticking around to show the remaining guests how cute my rats were, I headed home and relaxed, my mind now at ease that Blake wouldn't cause trouble anymore. Until he decided to steal my plushie one week later.